What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing something that we did a couple of times in NBA 2K19, my team, and we're gonna be doing a couple more of these this video, or this year. So at this stage, we are currently a little bit into November. It is currently November the 10th, so we're actually one third of the way into the month, and time is absolutely flying. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a squad that pretty much ruins NBA 2K20, my team. This squad is absolutely ridiculous. It can do absolutely everything. And even though there is position locks, it is just an incredible, incredible team. First of all, we're not putting in Magic Johnson for two reasons. One, I don't have him. And two, no quick first step for a point guard is a huge liability. Sure, he can play well in the post, but I've come up against him enough times to know that this guy's better. Shea Gilders Alexander, whoever he is. Shea Gilders Alexander is longer than Magic Johnson. He's only three inches smaller. And while he doesn't have the post game, he's got quick first step and a much better jump shot. And he's also a much better defender, in my, in my opinion. Like, he's got good enough perimeter defense. Also got good lateral quickness. He's 6'6". Six, six, got good speed. He got, well, significantly better speed than Magic Johnson. He's got good ball handling, good passing stats. Got a good mid-range, good three ball. And he's also got a better dunk than Magic. Can attack the basket. And he's just a beast of a card. At the two-guard position, we are going to put in a small forward. And this is going to be a theme for a lot of this team. It is height. So we've got Paul George. Paul George, you could argue, is the best player in the game right now. Purchasable or not purchasable. Maybe David Robinson. But after that, Paul George, I think I put him above Grant Hill. Six foot nine, can play at the two. Great mid-range, great three ball, great release as well. He's also got four Hall of Fame badges, including Pogo Stick, Fast Break Finisher, Showtime, Chase Dan Artist, 30 gold, 10 silver. And of those 10 silver, one of them is... Um, that's a quick first step, which is a huge badge to have. Stats-wise, again, really good. Also, defensively, he's unbelievable. Great steal, great perimeter defensive IQ, and really good speed and great lateral quickness. At the three, we got the X, man. Xavier McDaniel, a six foot nine guy. If we are struggling a little bit, we've got a more offensive option at the end of the bench, but Xavier McDaniel is a beast. Again, six, nine, three Hall of Fame badges, some insane, insane stats. He's got really good length. Rebounds well, can play the three or the four. At the power four position, we're going with a small forward, and it's Giannis. Giannis is the most unguardable card in the game, and he's the most unguardable card by a significant amount. Giannis, 97, 98, realistically is a pink diamond, a high rate of pink diamond, like 97, 98 overall. Sure, he's only got nine gold badges, but he's got four Hall of Fames. He's just 6'11, Galici animations. He's got, he's a not a great shooter, but you can't leave him wide open because his release is really easy to green. And a good driving dunk, a good enough ball handling, stats perimeter defense is good, speed's really good, a lot of quickness is good, and it's just, it's Giannis. At the center position, we are going to start off with... I'm going to put in a friend because he kind of needs shooters around Giannis, because, in my opinion, you need at least four shooters on the floor. I know I have been running with guys like Miracy and stuff, but... It is a liability having more than one not knockdown shooter on the floor. Off the bench, we are going to be running with at the point guard position because, again, point they actually made point guards good this year. So I'm going to start off with Gilbert Arenas. This is a card that I really like. I know some of you guys hate this card. This is my favorite point guard in the game by a mile. He's killing it. He is absolutely killing us. And like 16.3 points per game. Shooting a solid percentage, nearly 50, or around 50% from three as well. Then at the two, we are going to put in... I'm going to put in the best offensive two guard in the game because he's also a fairly decent defender. I'm going to put in Terrence Ross. He's 6'7", but in-game, he's literally like 6... He looks about 6'9", got goal diff or Hall of Fame difficult shots. Great goal badges, great stats, and well, it's Terrence Ross. You guys all know how good that card is. At the small forward position, we are going to put in... Kevin Durant. He's a guy that I definitely do prefer to LeBron James at the small forward position. I prefer running LeBron at the power forward, but KD, great shooter. 99 offensive overall, six Hall of Fame badges. And again, shoot the three, shoot the mid. He's got good ball handling. He's fast. He's good on defense and is just a great, great card. At the power forward position, we're going with a center and it's Tim Duncan. Arguably a top three or four card in the game. 99, 98. He's got 12 Hall of Fame badges. He's just going to bully people inside, as well as the fact he can shoot the three ball a little bit. Good mid-range shooter. Good dunker as well. 
He's got good enough perimeter defensive IQ as well. He's got decent lateral quickness of 70 and great speed and acceleration. So he can guard stretch fours and he's just such a versatile card and he can just bully little guys inside. At the center position, we've got the biggest bully in my team. And no, it is not Mirasan. The more I've used this guy, the more I've realized Rick Smith's a bigger bully than Mirasan. Seven foot four. And the difference between Smith and Mirasan, Smith is a 97 shot mid. Yes, 97. Similar stats. I know Smith only has a 60 block, but he gets blocks anyway because he's huge. But yeah, um, Smith is just a better mirror sound in my opinion. And last three off the bench, we're going to go with point guards. I'm going to put in Malcolm Brogdon. He's again sticking with our theme of having height. He's 6'5". He also shoots the ball well. Got good ball handling stats. He's fast. He's good on defense. Got a lot of quickness. And also one Hall of Fame badge and some great, great goal badges. A really solid point guard. And we're going to go with a little bit more speed for the center position. We are going to put in, oh, I might, actually no, I'm gonna put in this guy here. Chris Stapps Porzingis, the seven foot three sniper, because basically I would've put in Wilt, but Porzingis has got takeover, or he's got, not takeover, he's got heat check fully upgraded, which gives him a 91 three point shot. He's getting 96 block. Yeah, I'm gonna put in Chris Stapps there instead of Chamberlain. And last up off the bench, we are going to put in LeBron James. So LeBron, he can play at the four if I want to go a little bit small with Duncan at the five or Porzingis at the five. He can also play at the three, but I probably... In case, actually, no, if McDaniel's not hitting shots, I might play him at the three. And yeah, this, in my opinion, is a team that if you come up against it, you're going to have a bad time. But anyway, now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing Mark Price, Blackman, Giannis, Tim Duncan, and Dikembe. So we're playing a good team right here, but I think we definitely have the advantage. Uh, let's drive in. Wide open, green light straight away from the friends. And you know what? This is a basically a, a squad we have to, where we're playing as cheesy as possible. And we can justify playing as cheesy as possible. So we are zoning this guy up. You better believe he's only got one shooter that's good enough to shoot me out of his zone. And we left him wide open. That was smart, wasn't it? That was a really smart play. Could have been literally the dumbest thing I've done this year. Leave one player open in his team, and it's the one with a 99 shot three. Considering that, well, 99, well, 90% of the good coaches, or the coaches that players of this level will use, will have a three point boost. And Giannis walks right in, cannot make the layup. That was definitely not what I wanted to trigger there. Give him that. And he knocks it down with Blackman. Wake him up, and there we go. Good job, Giannis John Fell. Knock these two down. It's the first. And he's two for two. It's got not a great start to the game, but again, still early, early days. There we go. That's easy from Giannis. Okay, so we now have got the lead right back. And hit X-Man. Pull it back out. Fine. Attack hard, attack hard. Wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, that was a poor move by me. And we got it right back to steal. Pianis. Steps through and draws the foul. Pianis right to the basket. There's no stopping him. All right, he is the most unstoppable card in the game this year. I can't believe they gave us a Yanis card this overpowered this early in the game. Kick to the shooter for three. Green by Ray for friends. Let's go. They're now shooting threes with Yanis. We can live with that. We can live with that shot. Can't live with giving him the rebound every single time, though. Good board. The Yanis. Up step. Fake. And there we go. They still have had no way of stopping Giannis. Nine or ten points, four rebounds, and this game is just getting started here. There we go. And it's open. That's a green. That's our first green in a long, long time. Let's press him. We're going to kick to the corner. Three. Green. Please be a three. Don't. Foot on the line. Damn. Threw it right into my hands. Hit Duncan. It's all good. Step under that. Hit 
Nice, a little bit of space on that. And Duncan is the fadeaway over Rick Smits. Okay, lead is down to 10. He's got no rim protection at all in there. We kicked KD in the corner for three. And we have an 11 point lead. Biggest lead of the game right here. Where it's a terrible shot. We were right there. Let's go, let's push it. Turns Ross. They leave him open. And it's a bad release. Duncan's right there, is he? Good job. KD though. That's an okay release. And Kevin Durant knocks it down. So yeah, now we are well and truly in control of this game. They hit the move in three with Doncic to make it. Well, it's an 11 point game. We're good. I don't know why I'm panicking. I'm very, very comfortable right here. I'll take a meltdown to lose this game, I think. But meltdowns happen. Happen a lot more often than I'd like to admit as well. <laughs> Especially with me. I'm not. As soon as I start to go into panic mode, I start to lose badly. Same with Anyone though. When Anyone goes into panic mode in 2k, they start to lose. Give him the two. I'll give him that. I'm not giving up the three with Trey Young. I'm just going in more often than not. Burn him right to the basket. Easy dunk there for Gilbert Arenas. Let's open. Why did I shoot that moving? And <laughs> how did I hit that? That was such a dumb shot. Okay, right into LeBron. And that's an easy layup. So we got to lead up to 18. Let's get to 20 by halftime. Get to LeBron. I shouldn't be able to stop him here. Get to the other side of the basket. Or that'll do as well. Let's go, LeBron. Snatch back into the jumper. Green. 22 point lead. And he's gone. Didn't even last a half. So anyway, that is the video. This team is just completely, completely unstoppable in this game. Like, there is nothing this team can't do. You've got a bunch of guys that can all shoot the ball, they can all defend, they can all attack the basket. They all have decent length except for Arenas, but Arenas is Hall of Fame range extender, which kind of makes up for it. I didn't even get the seal likes of Porzingis and Rick Smiths on the floor, but that was just because of matchup reasons. There was no point matching up Rick Smiths to Rick Smiths. There's no point ever matching up like for like. I just, I don't agree with doing that. I hate doing that. It's like if they have a little guy, I have no problem putting a big guy on him. It's like a little Santa like Duncan or something, putting Rick Smiths on that, but I hate matching like for like. But anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.